Welcome. We're here with the Sarah Huffman. Thank you for being here, Sarah. Thank you. And we're excited to dig into why somebody should consider coaching with you. So why don't you take us back to day one, like before you got into real estate, what were you doing? Thanks for having me. I am so excited to be here. Before real estate, I started out in elementary education. Interesting. And I taught first, second, and third grade yep. in Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Okay. I had a quarter life crisis uh -huh. when I was 28 yep. and took a sabbatical, yep. which then led me to retail management, okay. where I was a store manager for Target and a store manager for JCPenney uh -huh. for a total of nine years. Wow. So um, you, you were a school teacher, yep. first, second, and third grade, and now you're leading real estate agents, so that should feel pretty similar, <laughs> right? Uh, and then you got into real retail management, which mm -hmm. I love, by the way, because you know my background is selling consumer mm -hmm. goods, and so anything retail sales, I really appreciate anyone involved in that kind of business. Yeah. So what, what did those two industries, if you will, education and, and retail, teach you about real estate and how did you take what you learned in those and, and transfer it over? Sure, great question. Um, with my background in teaching, it would really be about the teaching and training and coaching, mm -hmm. being patient with people and meeting them where they're at, Yeah. really communicating so they understand the, the goal that you're trying to accomplish. Sure. Yeah. Um, that would be for teaching. And then for retail management, mm -hmm. that has so many transferable skills, yeah. but the biggest one is service. Yeah. So the, the importance of service and how we treat others yep. and in real estate, how then that grows sales. Yeah, I, I, I'm glad you, you said service and how we treat others because everyone talks about, you know, well, you gotta have, you gotta give good service. You gotta have good service, but good service is service you can feel, mm -hmm. right? Service that you can actually experience, right? Um, it's, it's not a, it's not customer service anymore. It's really customer experience above all. Absolutely. And so, um, then you, you got into business when, when did you get licensed? I got licensed in 2016. 2016. Great. And what has that journey been like? Have you been, what, what roles have you had in the business? Sure. So I joined my husband, mm -hmm. we lead a team yep. and I've started out just as a solo agent with yep. him yep. and then we've grown a team. So now we have 11 agents, including us. Yep. Um, we've kind of done the gamut where we've had a smaller team to sure. a larger team. Yep. And now we're really happy in this medium boutique style team. Got it. So you did sales first, which I think is important. So that way you absolutely understand mm -hmm. the sales end of it and what your people are going through. And what was it that caused you guys to say, you know what? Yeah, we really should, we really should be leading people. We really should be leading a real estate sales team. Mm. How did that get started? I think leadership is internal. Mm -hmm. I don't, I think you are born somewhere in there where leadership is just a natural part of your day to day. Mm -hmm. How can you make others better? Because yeah. if I can help make others better, help make our market better, yep. help make our industry better, mm -hmm. well, I'm going to be better too. Yep. Our customers are going to get better service. Yep. Yep. That's a good, that's a good perspective. I appreciate mm -hmm. you sharing that. And so um, today you guys have 11 agents mm -hmm. and I mean, you're probably one of the fastest growing real estate teams in, in Minneapolis, if not the entire state of Minnesota, which is really cool to watch your guys' growth. And so what is your role now? What is you, what do you specialize in as it relates to the business and working with your team? So when I think about my day, yep. I'm thinking about how do I help these agents get better? How do I help them really drive their daily routine, mm -hmm. their scripts, their customer service, yep. their lead gen? Um, how can I think operationally? Yeah. How can we help them? Got it. Like what types of tasks don't they need to do that we could have, you know, support in the background? Yep. Because at the end of the day, the more efficient we are, the, the better we show up as ourselves every day, the more yep. sales we're going to drive. Got it. So you wake up every day with how can I help our team get better? Absolutely. That's, that's what, that's what I heard in that. Awesome. And so Help, tell me, give me an example of what are some things that, that you guys do to help your team get better? Yeah, great question. So it starts every day, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. phone calls. Yep. We have an 8 a.m. team call yep. where we ask, tell me about your mindset. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your skill set. Yep. How are you treating yourself? Because yep. if we can set that right, yep. then anything else for the rest of the day, I mean, you just, you'll get through it because you know you've got a team behind you supporting you. So you help them get better through creating an environment yes. to where it's normal to prospect and to lead generate every day. You help them get better, better by holding them accountable to what it is they want to accomplish. And you show up for them. Absolutely. Right? And honestly, we've really shown them what an unreal life can look like. Yeah and the steps that it can take to yeah. get there and yep. how you can get there rather quickly once you know. I love that. So speaking of an unreal life, how did we get connected? How did we get hooked up together? Yes, so we, we all met. Um, my husband, Will, who's also a coach with Glover yeah. U, mm -hmm. um, won a free 
trip. Back in the day, we <laughs> you know, real true story, we actually had to, had to bribe people to come to our first couple of yeah. events by just fill out this form, put a credit card on there, and maybe and you'll go. win. Yes. And he tells a story about how if he didn't win, he wasn't coming. He yeah. was going to be one of the, because we give everyone a certain amount of time to cancel or whatever. He was uh, for sure going to cancel. Yep. And so he filled it out, put it in, and and he won. And so here he went for a free lunch, yep. ends up winning a trip yep. to Orlando uh -huh. at the um, summit a few years ago. Yep. And at that time, we were in a really financial pinch, mm -hmm. was we were, it was troublesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll get there. It's okay. And Glover, like you and your team, mm -hmm changed our life. I appreciate you saying that. Someday I won't cry. <laughs> That's okay. I appreciate that. And of course, obviously I can't take all the credit for it because we've got great people yeah. and I've got people that have helped me along the way that, that, you know, help us put these things on. Um, but what was it that he took away from that event that when you guys got back, you, yeah. you started implementing or changing right away? Honestly, that 8 a.m. phone call is one of the mm -hmm. things that we implemented immediately. Yeah. And also how prospecting is there to boost our business. Mm -hmm. Like, pros like the way to build a business, no matter what the market is doing, is yep. through prospecting yep. and making those contacts and yeah. building your database. And at the time, you guys were more of a sphere-based and, and just working with family and friends and yep. not really understanding the other side of it, working with people you don't know. And truly, like when we started working with our coach, Matt Sutter, mm -hmm. Matt has a way of really teaching business acumen yeah. and how to run a business like a business. Like a business person, that's yeah. right. And yeah. so that is one of the, also the, another big thing that we implement right away yeah. was running our business as a business. As a business, yeah. Because we, we, we were known for so long, and I was known for so long as, you know, the guy that will develop salespeople. He'll teach you how to mm -hmm. sell, he'll teach you how to prospect, he'll teach you how to run your business. But then we knew we were missing a piece, and that was, we have to teach our great salespeople how to become great leaders. Mm -hmm. And so you guys went all in on that. I mean, you've had us do advances for your team. I mean, you are all in on the leadership mm -hmm. side of things. Absolutely. And so, Obviously, because of your exposure in, in working with us as agents and leaders, not just as a coach, I mean, you are practicing our system day in, day out. So you know that, you know when you're coaching with someone, you, you can identify the missing piece in their business and, and, and share something that you did based on something we taught and how it's working for you guys. And that's real stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. And so. we know it works. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It's not a magic, it's not the easy button, yeah. but we know the activities that yep. we need to do every single day and sure. every single week to yep. drive our sales. Yep. Love that. And so if I were considering coaching with you, the one question I would have is why should I coach with Sarah Huffman? Well, why you would coach with Sarah Huffman? I'm an S on the disc profile. Yep. So my emotions are my superpower yeah. and I can feel other people's emotions. Mm -hmm. So what that means for a coaching client is yeah. when you're telling me something I usually know if it's something deeper yeah so let's talk about let's yep. talk about life let's yep. talk about home what's going yep. on in your business mm -hmm. both professionally and personally yes. and if you can really help that client reset yep. now they're gonna be able to build so you mean there's no surface level answers with you you're not gonna accept those no no you're, you'll call them out right yeah. and that's Absolutely. good we need to be called out right we need someone with a certain level of emotional intelligence to identify when we're not being true to ourselves, which then in terms means we're probably not being true to our coach. And sometimes they don't expect it from me because yeah. I do am like that nice, yeah. friendly, complimentary. Yeah. But when I see something, I'll say something yeah. and we just nail it. Like, yeah. here's what it is, what are we gonna do? Well, you've got the wisdom from past careers, plus what you're doing in real estate, plus what you've implemented since you guys have been involved with Glover U. I think that anyone who coaches with you would have a great opportunity to get to the next level. So thanks for being on, Sarah. Thank you. All right, we'll see you guys. Thank you.